Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here coming at you with what's going to be my last Great League for this round because tomorrow is Ultra League and Ultra League Premier Classic and those are so, such two different things because Ultra League Open is level 50 and, ex and um, Legendaries and Premier Classic means level 40 and no Legendary. So the teams are going to be completely different. So tomorrow being Thursday, the turnover of the league, I'm going to put out two videos, one team building for each of those. So check that out tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new to the channel so you do not miss those. Uh, but this video I'm going with, so the team, although I did well with it, I, I went 5-0 and and then I saw an electric Pokemon and then I, like Lantern, and then I quit because I'm double weak to electric there. So, but the, I really wanted to just try Charizard out because my buddy is swore by, I don't have the Shadow Charizard, uh, so I have the Wing Attack because I used it for a faction, so I had a Wing Attack uh, non-Shadow Charizard, and he swore by the Shadow Charizard being like, it one-shots everything, it's so fast on the energy generation. So the wing attack now, instead of doing the fire spin, which most people did, which gives you 6.67 energy per second, you now get eight energy per second for the wing attack. So you get to the dragon claws and fire blast faster. Uh, and it is actually quite good at one shotting a lot of things. I think the glare and stun fist matchups in here where I just like, whoa, that one, that fire blast does a lot. So it's a strong Pokemon. I know other content creators have, have, have also showcased uh, Charizard just being able to fire blast a lot of things in this is pretty strong, right? The wing attack, the meta has turned into, it's so disappointing because the buff to wing attack, I didn't think, I actually I did. I kind of called it that like, you're going to see the increase in flyers, which means you're going to see an increase in steals, which means you're going to see an increase in fighters. And that is essentially all that the Great League meta has become now, right? You have Bastion, Galarian Sunfisk as your sort of steals. Skarmie is in this matchup, but it's not too much. This should definitely one shot. Goodbye. Keep switch. It Charizard's a little glassy. Do I get to the move here? I do get to the move here. So this is a full health Galarian Stunfisk. I am a non-shadow Charizard, and it almost one shots. And I get to wing attack down. So clearly a beast of a Pokemon. So it's just getting ahead. Here's the problem. So there are flyers no sorry there's the steals which you're gonna have trouble like you're weak to rock charizard and like one rock side is gonna take you out because you're fire and flying so double weakness there not great there the second option is your flyers the problem is pelipper's gonna do good because of the, the weather balls and your uh noctel is pretty tanky so i don't think you win that one either I have to check the p poke and then you have fighters so the good news is you should be able to take out the fighters because the wing attack charges pretty quickly. The fire blast that you saw just almost one shot at a full glaring sun visk. I know uh, that's super effective, but like that is a huge move there. And Dragon Claw is just good for chip damage. Like if you see an Altaria, like wing attack, Dragon Claw combo for Altaria is pretty nice there for the flyers. Uh, and then, sorry, flyer and then fighter there. And then the problem is Lantern, right? Because you really don't have. You can wing attack resisted, fire blast resisted. You can only throw the claws, so you need two things to deal with lantern. Um, the good news is, I, I have uh, oh, I'm blanking on the name. So, so, sorry, I'm blanking on the name, but you, as you can see right there, you can take one thunderbolt with ease because it's so so tanky. Um, Talk specs, that's his name, and they try and catch on Octavo, and they do catch on Octavo, that's fine. I'm gonna chip it and get out here and let's see how much fire blast does to an octowl. So the wing attacks can come through. That's the problem. Wing attack and uh, sky attack are just too fast here. So sky attack comes through. I'm gonna build up a little bit. Fire blast this needs to one shot or put it low enough that I can farm with either or. So it does one shot, right? And now I can dragon claw down. So the fire blast is a huge move for Great League. If you're so used to it in Ultra League, it just doesn't do as much as you think it would because everything's bulky. But in here in Great League, <laughs> it does a lot. And Metatrant matchup great here, right? So Charizard is definitely one worth looking at here. Um, you can take an Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure that was just an Ice Punch. Yeah, you can take an Ice Punch. And now I'm just going straight for the Blast Burn. That's Blast Burn, not Fire Blast. I'm sure someone has already pointed that out. Blast Burn, basically one shots the one shots the um meta champ there so if you have blast burn not fire blast blast burn it is a strong strong move 
just doing chip damage because I just want to keep alignment on my Swampert right here. I wonder what they have, because the, in case they have something like Trevenant in the back and didn't want to come out. Because if you have a Lantern, you pr I mean, two Surfs take Shadow out, which is why Lantern is such a pain in the bum. Bum, who says that? Pain in the butt. Uh, such a pain because two surfs take you out and like this thing and it only takes five sparks to get to a surf right so it's such a strong pokemon to deal with uh that's why i wouldn't run this exact team i would put a second answer to lantern in the back because lantern's everywhere right and charizard has no play against it realistically um so you need swamper but even two just surfs to shadow swamper and there is your knocked owl this combo is everywhere i hate i'm hating the great league right now i'm really hating the great league i had fun i used my baby Grimer, a Grimer. I used um, Pseudo Widow. I was having fun, but the meta is like ten Pokemon now. Your the nerfs. Nidoqueen is gone. Trevenant because not cows are everywhere. Is they're not totally gone because there are a lot of lanterns and it's such a nice answer to lantern. But they're basically gone. But it's just like it's not towel lantern Metasham, Glaring Stunfisk, Cores. And the problem is there's not one Pokemon I've been looking. I've been looking. There's not one Pokemon that takes out all of them. And so if you're going to team build in Great League moving forward, that's one thing you need to consider is that combo there. Glare and Stunfisk, Metachamp, uh, Noctowl, and Lantern. So Obama Snow did well for me for a while there because... Obama Snow takes care of the Noctowl, it takes care of the Lantern, and it does okay against the Swampert. The, uh, not Swampert, the Shadow does very well, not very well, but it does like pretty close against the Glaring Sunfisk. It just gets led up by Metachamp. Um, Swampert is okay, but like, like I said here, if they shield this, I'm at a huge disadvantage. I hope they don't shield it. They do shield it. Now I'm at a huge disadvantage because now a couple Surfs, plus they're using Water Gun, so two Surfs plus Water and definitely going to take me out. So Swamp Urge, okay, just because you can kind of hit neutral, you can hit super effective against the Galarian Stunfist, plus you kind of just do like okay. I think that's the best way. If you're putting together a team right now, I think the best way to play Great League is to find four of the most neutral things you can to take out all these Pokemon, right? So Swamp Urge, decent against pretty much all of them, right? You do really well against Glaine Sunfisk and decently against Lantern. You should win Lantern. Uh, nice snipe here by me. So I like Swampert. Um, you have... What else did I try? I tried Vigoroth, because Vigoroth wins a Noctowl. It does decent against Glaine Sunfisk, as long as you shield an Earthquake. And it does decent against lantern it just gets lit up by metachamp uh no matter what what move metachamp throws at you what else have i tried that's worked well um sableye is not bad actually because sableye beats metachamp it beats glaring stunfisk if you shield properly and it beats lantern but it's just such a hard, it's not a super hard loss, so I don't mind Sableye. So if you have a Sableye, I've been running Sableye a lot just to get ELO. My team for ELO has been Shadow Bomb Snow, uh, Shadow Bomb Snow, Lantern, and Sableye. Sableye and Lantern just cover each other's weaknesses so, so well because your main uh, problem is going to be sort of normal type Pokemon with Sableyes, which uh, Lantern could deal with and darks darks is kind of a tricky one and that's why umbreon's kind of sneaking up too you've seen a lot of umbreon teams and my team bulk you've seen umbreon because umbreon um it doesn't like it loses to metachamp but it it just kind of it wins barely against like noctowl lantern and glaring stunfisk if you shield properly maybe even maybe if you don't shield properly like yeah i, I think you may lose glaring stunfisk so like umbreon's there so if i'm building a team it's trying to best neutralize those four Pokemon. So if that makes sense. Anyways, that is it. Um, end of Great League, Ultra League, and Ultra League Premier Classic next week. So we'll do that. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what wing attack buff Pokemon you think is best. Because I've used 
Charizard, Mantine, Noctowl, and Pelipper so far. Uh, it seems like Noctowl is the best. I used Pelipper a few times, and Pelipper is its just so glassy. Like, I love it because it's so spammy, but it's just so glassy. And it was a great save slot back in the day, but there's too many bulky things now that I think that's, that sort of XL bulk is now hindering Pelipper a bit, even though it's still ranked fairly high. Uh, and then Mantine, like I said, Mantine is just too limited because it you either Bubble Beam Bait or Ice Beam, but if you're against like a Water type Pokemon or Steel type Pokemon or anything that resists the Ice Beam, like it's 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 kind of really limited. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's enough rambling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.